it with like a little off the shoulder. Mm. Wait. Hey, welcome back or welcome. I'm Brittany and this is the Brittany E channel. My girlies, we're going shopping. We went shopping. And of course, like last time, I took y'all with me. A few weeks ago, I posted my first shop with me video. I'll link it above if you have not seen it. And you guys seem to like it. So I said that it would be something that I would keep up. I would do it on like a four to six week basis just to see, you know, what do the girls have in store? What do the girls have in store for us? In the last video, we did Anthropology, Zara, H&M, and Macy's. And this go around, I wanted to give you guys some different details. Some retailers that I hardly ever shop with. So let's get right into it. Starting with Lane Bryant. Now, as you guys may know from my vlogs, that I'm on Lane Bryant's PR list. But outside of that, I haven't purchased anything on my own accord from Lane Bryant. I used to exclusively get my bras from Kasik. Not anymore. Now most of my bras are from like Fenty. I used to exclusively get my denim from Lane Bryant. Now I don't wear much denim anyway, but I shop in other places. So I haven't really had anything to go to those girls for because newer or funner things have popped up. But I went into the store and my babies, it was sparse. Let's get into it. Okay, girls. It's um it's very empty in here. <laughs> so let's see. That's kind of cute. This is cute. I don't really do too well with slip dresses, but we'll try it. This is the dress they sent me in PR. I did what I could here. Let's just see. Okay. I thought this was going to fit. This is a 24, and it does not. Um, so, it's cute. I would need a 26, maybe a 28, my God. And then after I go that big, I would have to get the top tailored, like, please. So, but it's pretty. I'm gonna link it for y'all. Okay, these are the wide leg flare trousers. Love them. This is a 26. They are too tight, baby. You see that? You see that? Yeah. So I got so I got the white and the 28. Let's try those on and see how we feel. Okay, this is a size 28. And they still hella tight. The only thing that changed is they're a bit longer. So Clearly, I'm a fat ass Kelly Bryce and I need to get up out of this store. Yeah. As you can see, Lane Bryant didn't have much for me. And it's funny because before I went in, I was on their website. And I think I mentioned it in my last vlog, vlog 12. I'll link it if you haven't seen it. I think I mentioned that they had some things online that made me a little bit curious so I was willing to go in store now they only have one Chicago location they used to have like three or four times a change they have one left and with that one you saw maybe the store is kind of empty ish the last time I was in that physical store it was it was full there was many many options they didn't have many many options on the day that I was there. I, I don't know what was going on. 
They didn't have many options with garments. They didn't have that many options with size. You saw what I tried on. I wanted to try on the boiler suit. The largest size they had was like a 16. Interesting. The ombre dress, I kind of knew it wouldn't work from when I saw it on the hanger, but as I was pulling it over my body, it seemed like it was roomy, but then hard stopped at my hips. We saw that. The trousers disappointed me so badly because I really wanted those trousers, my darlings. The length was perfect. The flare over the leg was perfect, but they were too small, the 26 and the 28. So what's going on? Well, what was going on? I also grabbed two pair of denim to try on, but after those trousers, after that 28 laughed in my face like that, I was ready to go. So I left and I think I bought, I bought some panties and left. Then I headed over to Forever 21. Now, I haven't been a Forever 21 girl since 2008. 2008, was I 21? I wasn't 21 yet, but I lived in that store, baby, because that was within my budget and everything just was so stylish. They didn't even have plus size yet. And in the recent past, I've actually worked with Forever 21 and I've gotten some things from Forever 21, but these things were online. When I was in store, it was a different story, babe. Nothing was for me. Lots of denim, lots of flannel, lots of a few neutrals thrown in there. And it was kind of like, okay, well, what's the vibe? Like, when y'all sat down with y'all team this season, what did you guys decide the vibe was? <laughs> what trends did you guys say that y'all were going to piggyback off of? Because everything, it was like everything everywhere all at once in that store. Forever 21 is another store where in Chicago, there used to be multiple locations. Now, as far as I know, there's just that one. There used to be three Forever 21s downtown. They were within 10 minutes of each other. Now there's just that one. There was one in Lincoln Park and I guess the rest were sprinkled in malls, which kind of border Chicago, like the suburbs. So this is the only one that I know. And they didn't have a thing. They didn't have nothing. I didn't even make it to the dressing room, my babies, because what was there to try on? I thought I saw something, but I didn't see nothing. Like the slip dresses, they kind of intrigued me, but I know better than to try to squeeze into a Forever 21 slip dress. I do have one slip dress from Forever 21 though, and it, it works surprisingly. It's a size 3X. I featured it a long time ago in like a haul, but for the most part, I know my body. I know their garments. There was nothing for me there. I'm so sorry. I, it was nothing for me to try on. I wasn't just going to try on stuff for the heck of it. I want to try on stuff that align with my personal style aesthetic, as well as things that I think that you guys would like. And unfortunately, they had nothing. They do have some gems online. So y'all be shopping at Forever 21, let me know. Next, I headed over to H&M. And H&M is one of those stores where it's never hard for me to shop within. The sizing works for me. They have my size in most everything. The only thing that don't be jacking me is like uh, wovens, long sleeve garments, pants, but you know, I know better. And the minute I walked into H&M, I started seeing things, things that I enjoy. So let's go to the dressing room and see what we discovered. Okay, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. It's perfect. This is a 2X. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is cute adjacent. 
little, okay, sir. This is one lemon shell, please. Get out of here. Oh, gauzy, kind of sheer textured number. It's very much giving Jack Sparrow. Mm. This is a 2X. I'm not sold. Okay, this is cute. A little summer throw on dress. This color is so pretty. It's very light and gauzy, stretchy. This is a size, I think, 2X. I like it. You can wear it like this. You can belt it. Yeah. I feel like I need to be in Marrakesh. Okay, this is a cute little cool brown cotton slip dress, errant dress, grocery store dress, house dress, you know. This is a XL. It's a little bit too drab to me, shape and color. Okay, this is actually cuter than I anticipated. Imagine it belted with a gold belt. It's giving a mixture of like Grecian and spa robe. <laughs> I don't know how I feel. Maybe if it were like a little off the shoulder. Hmm. Wait, hold on. This is a 2X too. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I kind of feel like it looks too much like a towel. Like too much like a towel. What y'all think? Let me know down below. Okay, another simple dress. This is an XL as well. This one has a split and you see the subtle stripes. It's easy throw on summer dress. It's cute. I like the color a lot. Looks great with my tan skin. Mm. 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 What y'all think? Last dress. This is an XL. This gives me 2011-2013 Britney, where I lived in a striped bodycon. If I knew it was like not super super fitted, I would have gotten a large. To be honest. Because I think it would definitely stretch out throughout the day. You can see it's just skimming, which is fabulous. But that ain't my look. It's cute, though. I would definitely get this like a size down and just wear it with heavy, heavy gold jewelry in honor of like Elsa Scaparelli. Yeah. I have to say, H&M wasn't too bad for me. I, I walked away with something. I walked away with something. The haul video is coming soon, real soon. H&M is always going to be the go-to for good basics. They, of course, house all my favorite linen poplins. They specialize in a good casual summer dress. They do color well. I, I like those girls, yeah. So the next day, because babies, it was so hot. It was so hot, I think on these two days that I shopped around, it was like 88 degrees both days, with like 110% humidity, that's what it felt like. And unfortunately for me, I opted into shopping during the weekend, which is something I never do. I'm a Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe Thursday girl. And I was in these stores on Friday, Saturday maybe, it was, so it was a little bit hectic. So, the first stop on the second day was Nordstrom. Nordstrom is having their sale, but I, I'm not a fan of shopping sales. Y'all saw I completely ignored those sales racks at H&M. I don't like Zara during their sales at all, not even a little bit. And Nordstrom, 
it was kind of no different because with the sales, they just kind of put everything together. It's like a mishmash. I feel like I'm shopping at like Marshalls and no shade to Marshalls. I just don't have the patience to like comb through for gems. I need everything sorted by garment and like color. Like I need to see blocks of one garment together. When everything is married, I don't like that. And that's kind of what Nordstrom was giving. So I did have a harder time than usual shopping with them. But we did, we found some things. Let's go on to the dressing room. Okay. Okay. Let's go. This is ASOS. This is too big. This is size 18. My girl went to go get me a size 16. But I like this. It's giving water sign. Yeah. Okay, this is a 16. The fit is much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, I think, that pistachio color. It's not convincing me, though. This is a size XL. So I told you I can go 3X, 2X, 1X, XL with these dresses. They're very forgiving. Yeah. Another one. This one is a 2X. Yeah. I don't know what I thought it was going to be, but I like that it has pockets. It's not the worst, it's just too big. Okay, these are made well. They kind of cute from the front, however come. These are the the perfect vintage wide leg jean. Mm. Skips top two X. Oh, okay. I feel very much like a West Loop Chicago girly. This isn't my style, but. I do like this vest, just not styled this way. This is my sanctuary. It's a 3X. Buttoned. Yeah, I would like it better if it were like white or cream. The back is fun. I like it. It's open edit. 3X. As you can see, Nordstrom wasn't bad. But I feel like Nordstrom consistently has things for me to try on. And they always have a fun little brand I've never heard of. Interesting pieces from said brands. I was looking forward to finding more Madewell jeans. Like, I have a couple pair, maybe, how many pair of Madewell? Maybe just one, maybe two, I don't know. But I tried on a pair of Madewell jeans a while ago, and they were so perfect. They were so, so perfect. I didn't have any back gap. They just fit me perfectly, but I didn't like the cut of the leg. I think they were like a boot cut or something like that. So I didn't get them. 
if they were like a straight or a skinny, they would have been mine in every color. I, I've gone to the Madewell store in Chicago, but I haven't been able to find that cut of jean anymore. And as you can see, the ones I tried on, they had that huge back gap. Now, I did try those on in the size 28 versus the 26, but they fit me well through the thigh. I also had on my Spanx. I didn't feel like taking them off, but please. But they, that back gap was super problematic, but they look good from the front, I guess. But I still can't find that cut of Mabel jean. I'm very upset about that. And I was also hoping to find maybe some 11 honore pieces on sale maybe some more eloquent pieces on sale. I did see some, like, Nordstrom, girl, be for real, because I saw this one, like, reddish-orange bralette from H&M, not H&M, from Eloquy. I think they had it last year. It was on sale. It's no longer in existence on Eloquy's site. Why Nordstrom had that top on sale to my some $60? Babe, enough of the game. That was Nordstrom. That was Nordstrom. And another thing, did y'all hear that man talking to that girl in Nordstrom? Like, my sister was trying on dresses. I was in their business. <laughs> my sister was trying on dresses because they were going to a wedding. And I'm assuming this was her boo in some capacity. And he's sitting out there on the couch and she's coming out, beautiful dresses, beautiful girls. And she's telling him like, oh, I like this dress, but I don't like how my, my arm looks or it makes me, she's, she's, she's talking about things that she may be insecure about. And, and when, when I tell you this man is trying to make her feel silly for those things. So I was trying to talk to y'all, but I was getting a little distracted because I was trying to listen to them. I don't like that man. And I hope that at some point my girl Lita decides to find a better man. And then the last story we had it into was none other than my girl Lita, Miss Zara. Zara's, the store is about 70, 30 when it comes to their new end items and their sale items. But my babies, it was still hectic. It was so hectic that I couldn't get like any on floor footage. Like I'm showing y'all the racks. It was so few of those shots as you can see because there was just people I was in great distress, it's true, but I did manage to grab a few interesting things and we went to the dressing room. And of course, the dressing room was loud. So let's get into it. Okay, 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 okay. We got some things, it's hectic out there, but let's get to it, my babies. Okay, I like this nylon skirt a lot more than I thought I would. It has pockets, baby, and I don't have a top. I was gonna do this top, but I don't even know why I tried to play with that little vest. Yeah. 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 This, this is one of their one size fit all garments. So it's just a size medium for most, excluding me. But I really like it. And it has like the little matte sequins. Wow, imagine this with like a nude bikini. Very annoyed, very annoyed. We have another one size item that I actually put on backwards, girl. This one fits. Perfectly fine. It does it have pockets? No, no pockets. It does nothing for me. I just really, really, really like this teal color that's not even showing up right on camera, but it's so gorgeous. Mm. I'm hot. My sister's really, really hot. Another skirt, child. This one is too small. This is an extra large. It's like a satiny type thing. But hold on. We do believe in making it work around here, so if this is cute, we can belt it, we can pin it, like, I don't know what y'all, <laughs> it's not for me. The last thing is this very light sweater, child. This is a size large with a pair of white linen pants. I'm giving Morris Chestnut summery in Capri, Tay Dix in Montecito, California. 
It's cute. <laughs> what do we think, girls? So that was Zara. Zara, I don't know. They kind of, they kind of missed me. This is that in between time where they're about to transition to their fall winter stuff in about three weeks and they're going to exclude me from that conversation for the most part so this is what we had at Zara it was I did get something they're working on the apartment ahead of me I'm about to get pissed I did manage to get something but I wasn't super excited about the things that I tried on. Anywho, y'all, what did y'all think of the things that I tried on? What was your favorite retailer? Are you shopping with these girls? Is there a Lane Bryant local to you? And what are they looking like inside? Because it was a little scary in there for me. I don't know. What, what, what do y'all think? And for the next one, which probably won't come for minimum like six weeks girls but we got to give the girls time to like thicken up the racks we got to give them time what other stores should i try out for y'all let me know down below again comment what your favorite thing that i tried on was i will find the links to these items and i will link them down below for y'all shopping pleasure make sure you like this video if you like this video follow me over on instagram at born and sequins Subscribe, my darlings, if you're not subscribed. And as always, I will see y'all in the next video. I really need new nails.